At least I think I am. Oh, there he goes. Okay, yeah. Hey guys, it's Rek. This is uh, Portal 2. Um, with the launch of the community chest chambers... Community chest chambers, I swear to God. I can't community say Community chest chambers. I... <laughs> yeah, Voldex is here, and he made this map. And... I... It's brilliant, and kind of wanted to show it off, but we're still kind of beta testing it a little bit, I guess. Oh. So you flatter me, sir. With my flatulence? I have had this, uh... Well, yes, you're, you're, you flatulent me, sir. I fart in your general direction. Alright. As a sign of thanks. Let's see here. I'm just loading the thing up. And I've had a little bit, I've got to say, I've had a little bit of experience with this already because I dicked around with it just to see how well Portal 2 was recording and stuff, but I didn't get super mm -hmm. crazy far into it. At least I don't think I did. But um, You didn't finish it. I didn't finish it, no. I didn't get that far. Hey, Cave Johnson! All right. And here we are. In Cave the Johnson here. Freaking map thing. Okay. Let's see here. So first thing when we come into this test chamber is we see that there is a force field right here in front of us. And then a laser. And then another force field on the other side of it. Which is a giant nope you can't go this way sort of thing. Um, exactly. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get out of this room. That's the first objective basically. So what we need to do is we need to throw a portal up at the ceiling and then throw one on the ground to create an infinite loop. And then we're going to fall through that portal. And I think I'm going to have to use the orange one. Yeah, okay. Shoot the orange one. Ah, oh, crap, I already messed it up, I think. Well, I might not have. I might be okay. Yeah, all right. I just made it. So I'm in the asbestos tube. And from here... Good job. We can go... put two portals down and safely land on that lower platform. But now we're out of the basic little main little starting area. So, looking around here, we see all these different things and when I was originally out here I was like oh my god what do I do there's so many things um, I did have limit problems when it came to objects I think you can only have like a, a 16 maybe an 18 item limit on a portable 2 map and I had a lot of issues with that trying to limit it down seeing what I can get rid of and just replacing things that could be done with objects with just simple portal placements and it worked out really well. I, I've actually completed this map eight times in about... It takes about five minutes to do. The whole map takes I'm five minutes? I'm trying to do it as quick as I can. Yeah, about five minutes. Jeez. Doing it as fast as I can do it. And I uh, made the damn thing. Alright. That's understandable. So we have a button here that lo that up puts that one platform up. And in that one little room is the end of the puzzle. So basically, I know I need a cube to put on this button. Pretty... Pretty freaking sure. That's a safe bet. I'm glad I made that obvious. Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> obvious. Um, that's the exit. Yeah. But in order to get a cube, we need to activate that, which is the cube dispenser. Now, um, I really don't know what this is for, which is the platform... Or the, the white bit right next to the cube dispenser. And when you hit the button in there... I think it should make it so that, that white space isn't available anymore, maybe. But I don't know because I haven't oh. gotten that far. You mean the white space on the ceiling? Yeah. I don't know what that does <laughs> yet. Uh, well, well, look. Um, I've, there are connectors there. Yeah, I know. But they go in that room, and I'm, I'm guessing the white space turns into a not white space. That is what I'm... Guessing. I'll play the game and you'll find out. I'm working on it. Let's see here. So, um, we basically have to get in there. And the only way in there that I can see, because there's a little grating with some orange gel f flying through the thing down there, but I can't get through that, is to go through that little force field up there. 
So the next challenge becomes trying to figure out how to get through that force field. Well, we have a faith plate right there that looks to be positioned kind of to launch us through there, but going through this portal, which is directly below the force field, and hitting that does not give you enough like velocity by itself. You end up coming yep. short and landing like right in front of it. So that's um, that's something that I tried to fix. I was trying to figure out ways to make sure people couldn't hack through this. That's actually a puzzle in itself when you're making Portal 2 maps is can you do this without you know, without doing it any other way, but you want people to try and do things the other way. Like when you said, <laughs> like when you said in the next room when, with the, um, because there's a blue gel dispenser, you were bouncing all around the room. Mm -hmm. I'm glad we'll that get to that. To do that. We'll get to that. So now I'm going to use the <laughs> asbestos tubes to get up to the t the top button, um, on this little part that's on the side of the room. Because basically, you have one button that is 10 seconds, right? The 10 second button's on the top, and the 20 second button's on the bottom, right? I think so, yeah. Alright, so what I did to solve this part is I put a portal next to the button on the bottom, and I'm going to put a portal next to the button on the top, right? Okay, and what I'm going to well, do... I didn't intend it to be that way. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the, the portal on the top, and now I'm on the bottom again, but I've got a, my blue portal still up there. Hit the button, run through, jump off, put down a portal, button... Ah, crap, I'm missing already. <laughs> I managed to get it first time. I can't wait to see you do that. And I just did a lot of things really, really fast that's kind of hard to explain. But I basically used momentum to shoot myself back into the room that I started out in with the one little, uh, the one little tile that moves slightly so it's angled at the faith plate yeah. and then bounced back and forth to get up to where the uh, blue gel is. Yeah, that, that's intended, but what I didn't expect you to do is use the um, asbestos tube to get to the bottom at the top. I might have to fix that. You might just make... I think it'd be easier to just to make it so that's the only way you can do it. But that's just me. Possibly. My original intention was that... Uh, it's actually a little trick from Portal 1. If you remember in the campaign, you had to use momentum to fly up... Mm -hmm. uh, you know, to get to the bottom at the top. You flew up... And then, as you flew up, you could see the next um, portalable surface. And then, on your way back down from the last portal that you put down, you fly up, and then you... Oh, it's hard to explain. There's a puzzle in Portal 1 where you do, like, a momentum thing, and you fall into one portal, and you go into the next one, and you put another portal down, and then you fly down to the last one that you put down, and... Uh, I know what you're talking about, don't worry. Dirty brain. Yeah. So, now, I'm spreading blue gel over near the faith plate. So I can successfully make oh, that baby. jump. Yeah, yeah, pretty sexy. And with that done, I can look back in here at the ground. And I'm pretty sure I can make this jump. If I can't, I'm going to be very sad. But my goal is to come screaming and flying out of that orange portal and hit the gel and then hit the faith plate and then go through the force field. Let's see if I can do it. Mm, yes! Yes, it can. Wow, I just missed it, actually. That's hilarious. Um, okay. Well, you suck. I suck. But, it's okay, because Voldex put in an alternative way to do this. By going over to the way we were supposed to solve the other puzzle, and shooting a blue portal down at the bottom of this really long random drop that we're supposed to use to get up there. And... We bounce. We and we're in the orange room. Any comments, Voldex? I'm just uh, happy that you've found alternate ways to do some things. 
Yeah. I like having my things beta tested. Only three people have uh, actually played this map, and one of those people is you. And the other one's Noah. Noah gave up, like, instantly. He said that it was way too hard and he couldn't do it, and I'm like, good. <laughs> yeah. That's the point. Okay, <laughs> now I see. Okay, so there's a laser grid up there that we've got to go through, and. I'm stupid for not noticing this earlier, that there is a dotted line that leads into that little room where the button is. So we gotta go through that and get there. But, this room has a little bit of a problem. There are no, at least I couldn't find any, white portals on the ground level. So you actually can't, you can't, um, normally get up there, because you can't just, like, walk into it and do that. So what I did, in order to beat this part, was I jumped down. This ought to be funny. I went over to where the blue gel was dropping, because you can barely see it. Opened a portal so I could get blue gel. And then... Shot blue gel right there. And let's put it How right the there. How the hell did you get blue gel up there? I'm very astonished by that. Uh, you can just barely make it out and barely see it, actually. Uh, and you can you can shoot a portal there. Yeah. To get it. Okay. That is incredible. For I thought I did it in such a way that you couldn't do that. Okay. That's weird, man. Well, you'll see it. All right, let's oh, well. see here. Uh, paint some orange all across this thing so we can get some extra leverage. Eh, probably didn't do that right exactly. Yeah, I'm not going to have enough bounce to get all the way up there. So I'm going to have to go back and get my blue gel again. That I'm apparently not supposed to have, but I couldn't really see any other... Oh, I'm an idiot! Actually, there is another way to do this. <laughs> this is really humorous. No. Um, so Voldex, I just got the asbestos tube in here. What the... Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> yeah. You are lying. No, I've got the I've got the asbestos tube in here, dude. This is pretty funny. So you got the, uh, or, yeah, but how are you gonna use that? To... I don't know, but I think it's hilarious that I managed to get it in here. That's it's well, actually, pretty good. I think I intended that to make people think that they should use it in this room, but I did it in such a way that it's impossible to utilize it in this room. I hope. Uh, yeah, we'll see I about was that. I very careful with my placement of my... Yeah, yeah okay. If you, can, if you can use the asbestos tube in this orange gel room effectively and get to the other side of this puzzle without dying, I will lick my own balls. Oh, now you've challenged me. Um... I will... I will... I will kneel down in my chair and... Somehow, without breaking my back, lick my testicles. <laughs> That's really gross, but okay. Let's see. I want to see what this does, actually. I'm, I'm just experimenting now. How can you not see the button? It's on the other side of the room that you come in. Well, I see the button. I see the button. I just, I'm trying to figure out how to get to it is the problem. Because I can't... No, I mean the... Um... What? You see the button at the end of the very long hallway. Hang on a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. The very end of the long hallway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Oh. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think I know what you're doing. I think I know what you're doing. Uh, I think you've missed a completely separate room. Oh, did I? <laughs> I think you missed a completely separate room. You know how you use the bouncy gel? Uh huh. To get to, um. You know, you can see. So you're in the small bit where there's lasers. Yeah. There's a small laser. <laughs> okay, look at where the laser is connected and you'll see a blue dotted line. Follow that blue dotted line. Wait, where the lasers... No, that's what I was talking about. I'm trying to get up to the room where that laser, uh, the connection is. Yeah, and you can't do it from where you are. 
you are in a room just below where you're supposed to be. <laughs> um, I admit I might need to make it a little bit more obvious, but... I'm kind of confused as to what you're talking about. It would be easier if you were live streaming it, but... Um... um let me have a think. I might have had to have put a light somewhere to say, hey, you're supposed to go here next, but... Let's see here. I don't want to kill myself. Let's not do that. Okay. Orange gel, blue gel, ready to go. Oh, so there is two ways to do it. Oh, damn it. Damn it! That's close. Well, you know the uh, the room where you can see uh, the lasers? Oh, you can crap. see the lasers. You're on like a small elevated path. The room where I can see the lasers, and but I'm on a small ele- what? Wait, well, you know where you can, you can see the lasers, can't you? I can't see the lasers. Well, no. Oh, Which wait, lasers what? are you talking about that I can see? The, uh, to get into the next room. There's obviously a button that deactivates lasers. Yeah. Oh. You gotta, yeah, you gotta. Yeah, oh, I just. That I found the long hallway. <laughs> I just. Okay. Yeah, I found yeah. the long hallway. Oh, there there's a, two ways there out. There's way of going. Oh. Yeah, there's another way to get out. I'll have to fix that. That's weird. But yeah. So what's the point of the second way out? I'm really. Okay, whatever. I missed that, but what you're supposed to do is, um, there's actually two ways to go in and out of the, uh, of that long hallway room on the, on the top level that you're currently in. Um, if you look just to where the speedy gel is, mm -hmm. you'll notice that I put a portal, um, portable surface right there. You're supposed to launch yourself on the bouncy gel with a portal on that portal device, the portalable surface, and then bounce into the long hallway room. But apparently you found another way around. I might have. I'm not even sure. I'm glad you did, because now I get to fix it and be more mean. Great. And I'm looking forward to that. That's where you're supposed to go. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Okay, so I've got this entire hallway covered in orange gel now. So, let's see. First of all, I want to time this to make sure I'm not going to get myself killed. You don't want to die. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. Wait a minute. Is that all the time you're giving me? Like five seconds? Yeah. Holy shit. Five I'm, seconds. I'm not sure if I can make this in five seconds, even with speedy gel. One, Trust me, two, it's three, done. four. Shit, shit. Oh. Oh, well, actually, you give me you plenty really of time. Okay, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> I freaked out for a second. Okay, so turn this button on. Oh, that's what that does. Oh. Okay, so... What? Um, okay. I am so kind of confused here. Okay, so no, you, you've got a white bit in here. So this thing's just going to keep crapping out companion cubes, right? I'm pretty sure it's it's not going to stop now. So what I'm going to do no, is I'm, I'm no. going to put this here. Oh, I think I found another way to break this. Give me a second. Um, well, I gotta, I've got to escape back out of this room now that I've turned that on. So in order to escape back out of this room... I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to put portal down there, and then I'm going to do this the same way I did before, basically, of just speed gel, bounce. Wow, that was cool. <laughs> oh, man, I can't wait to yeah, see that in the replay. Same way. Um, no, I can't I, wait to see this whole video. Let's see here. Um, okay, so now I need a companion cube. In order to get a companion cube, I'm going to have to grab it out of the air. I think. Um, and there's multiple ways to do that. Use the falls. Use the falls. Do it. Um, actually, there's a really easy way to do it. So let me just do it the easy way. 
Uh, like that. I'm, die. <laughs> I'm not going to die. I, I think... <laughs> famous last words, but still, I, I think I've pretty much got this now. Um... Okay. I've got to come through. Actually... Uh, I really, really don't want it to die at this part. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead... No, please don't. ...and put portals there and there. I'm just going to make it so I don't even have to jump anymore. Good, good, good. Well... <laughs> don't speak too soon. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm not. I'm th I think I've got this. Crap. If you screw up, this is... I'll say this much, it is possible to die on the very last bit. You mean the last room, or...? The last... the last bit in order to uh, complete the map. It's like a please don't screw up moment. Okay. Let's see here. What exactly are you doing to get the cube? I already got the cube. Yeah, but how did you get it? That's what I'm curious. Um, to two asbestos tubes. Good, 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 good. Let's see here. Because there was a, just a silly way that you could have done it. Um, oh, please don't kill me! Please don't kill me! Whew. I made it. <laughs> Told you. And that's the map done. Completed entirely. Fantastic. Did it? Yeah, I'm done. That's That was the map. Alright, cool. That was cool. Um, There was a couple weird things, multiple ways you could have solved the puzzles. I kind of exploited the blue gel a little bit too much but you will probably see that and be able to fix it um it was fun and i look forward to any other maps you're doing and i'll probably film them as well and put them on my channel so thank you very much for that awesome yeah. little preview of your map i guess voldex beta 2.0 edition or something <laughs> we can call it that yeah all right well that's it guys uh see you next time